um, Massimo. I live in Italy. I graduated in electronic engineering in 1984, started my career with IBM in the same year at the Rome Scientific Center uh, where I worked on speech analysis and synthesis. After 10 years I left the company and in year 2000 I got a micro certified system engineer degree. Uh, I became a micro certified trainer. In the same year I started a com my own company as a system integrator and doing support on Microsoft platforms and network design. In 2003, I got a CCNA, became a Microsoft certi uh, Cisco certified trainer, and I was very interested in the safe uh, framework for network security design, and I got a PIX firewall certificate, um, that was the beginning of my interest in network security. At the same time, I was teaching informatics at the University of Siena, computer science, and I was there as a contract professor for almost 11 years. I had a strong interest in cryptography and VPNs and so on, and this brought me to teach cryptographic application network security for the Italian Army. And the interest in network security grew stronger, so I got uh, my first of all the AC Council Certified Ethical Hacker degree, and after that, I got certifications on threat intelligence, and CSA, ECND, and forensics, and incident handling, and so on. And now I work as an auditor and a security analyst mostly in the banking environment. And of course, I work as a trainer. As a Cisco and EC Council trainer, I teach a lot of networking and security related programs. I am an authorized trainer for several EC Council programs and certifications like Ethical Hacking, Forensics, Network Defender, Incident Handling, Threat Intelligence. And they cover many different aspects of the security process and this is important as a trainer because you uh, may uh, do uh, connections and explain and have a better perspective on what, or what you teach and the different security phases. The need for CND courses is increasing with increasing fo focus on IT security. And Teaching security as a process is at the base of the CND program. It covers several different aspects of uh, defensive security, from policy design to physical security, uh, host security, firewall configurations, IDS, IPS, VPN, and so on. It's a very good program to teach all the aspects uh, as a whole and with focus on governance as well on several different defensive techniques for the different environments that you can find in the whole network. Teaching CND is quite interesting mostly because it covers all the aspects of defensive security. It gives the message that while offensive security is the art of opportunity, defensive security is systematic. You have to cover all your bases so you cannot overlook anything. Defensive security is seen not only as a set of best practices, but as a continuously improving process, strictly related to the quality of the governance that is behind it. CND certification was not my first certification, and at the time I already worked on policy design, best practices and so on, so it was very close to what I did as my as my job and so I don't think it was very difficult but of course uh, there are always many things to remember or things that you have to learn and it covers so many different aspects that of course you don't have always a, a work practice on everything and there are things that you have to study maybe they will be useful in future and of course the exam is uh, quite long so you have to be able to stand the, the pressure of the test and the, the time passing and all the things, but all in all it was not difficult. Well, what really liked about the CND program is the 
attention and the focus on policies and best practices, first of all, and the introduction of threat intelligence elements. And in the version 2, the, the, pro, the, the, the attention that the program creates uh, to cloud and uh, IoT uh, environments. Being a consultant, there is not a direct impact on the career if we think of some sort of reward or whatever, higher wages or I don't know. CND is a, an extremely powerful framework for all what regards uh, network security, uh, network security design. And I actually use it as a day by day reference. CND is focused on a systematic approach to security and you can see this uh, uh, through all the concept of governance that is at the base of the CND course and best practices and it is very systematic. Forensic is about uh, how an incident happened and what are the evidences of the incidences, they, how they can be preserved and so on. This focus is wider, of course, and um, incident handling is instead about uh, uh, how to manage incidents and uh, uh, what the incidents response team must do, uh, what, uh, what is to be done in order to minimize the effects and preserve the evidences for forensic analysis, for later analysis. Threat intelligence is extremely useful for security analysts and proactive security measures and ethical hacking is the base of, uh, for all the people who want to do penetration testing it is very wide, it goes from social engineering to reverse engineering that are very diff different things and it's something that you do not actually learn in five, uh, in five days but it will need a little practice, uh, but it, uh, it is absolutely the right course to start in the penetration testing career. Take it easy, focus on the concepts and learn from all the activities. Do the labs, do not look for shortcuts. Try to understand why each item is present, what it is really about and what is the relation with the others. Try to get the details, but try to get the whole picture, and it will be worth the while.